Baby, baby, let me be Your love, take me back Put a chain around my neck And leave me anywhere Hi, everybody! Hi, So, welcome to another... Hi, yes, I heard you the first time. Welcome to another Season 8 Predictions video and today we are gonna predict Sam for Season 8, the final season of Game of Thrones and by the end of the video I'm also going to predict the last shot, the last shot for Sam. I don't wanna be a tiger, cause tigers play too rough. So basically I think Sam will win, but like everybody he will have to pay a price for his victory. What do you mean will win? So we've long talked about Sam maybe being the one writing the A Song of Ice and Fire, writing the history, writing the story. The narrator. Also, I think he will be the narrator by the end. But I'll mention that in a second. Don't jump the fucking gun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last shot! What are you doing? You're ruining my video. <laughs> so he will write about the War of the Five Kings, about all that has transpired and put it into context. Like, like, uh, like an epilogue. Uh -huh. Obviously that will be a great accomplishment for Sam, seeing how he started the season banished to the wall and being a nobody. Mm -hmm. So if he gets that, what will he have to lose? What does Sam want most? Gilly. Oh my. Gilly. He wants to be a good partner. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a good dad and honorable man. Oh my. Mm -hmm. So we already got a hint of what happens when Sam has to choose between knowledge and Gilly. In the meantime, you are permitted to use the library. Follow me. I think that's foreshadowing mm -hmm. for what will happen at the end. No women or children. He will decide that in order to fulfill his job, his calling, his career, he will have to let her go and her son and forego that dream. Mm -hmm. A tragic ending in a way. Yes. Every character will have some kind of tragedy mm -hmm. before the season is over, before the show is over. Like this kind of like uh, self-fulfillment. Uh, has its price. Yes, maybe we'll feel ambition all of a sudden. Something that he hasn't felt mm -hmm. up to now, just now waking up. I'm tired of reading about the achievements of better men. But there was something about uh, his relationship with Gilly that really made him a bit more self-fulfilled in a way. Mm. Like, why does self-fulfillment have to be all about achievements, Gil? <laughs> <laughs> why can't it be about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Love and relationships and uh, having a family and uh, standing by your woman. Uh, it's not my story, it's his story. Oh, and in, no, okay. No, and in his story, so, uh... every character has to pay a price to get something. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it's just that his mind gives him a stronger sense of purpose than his penis. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. He wants to be the science guy. He wants to do science, playing husband. He likes it. It's important. But I think what, what gets his juices flowing more is being a maester, taking care of Jorah and reading the history books and go to see yeah. Bran and finding, uh, finding she get out, she, she out. He doesn't even listen to Gilly as she's talking about stuff that she's read that's very important. Mm -hmm. he's, he's like, okay, whatever, woman, I'm working here, I'm working here. That he issued an annulment for Prince Raga and remarried him to someone else at the same time in a secret ceremony in Dawn. Is that a common thing in the South? Or is These maesters. Yeah, but maybe Sam, something about him living the, leaving the citadel, like knowing that there's something wrong about this kind of isolated way of life, because it isolates them. It also blinds them from, the, from seeing the truth and seeing like objective truths also, not just reading about them and being like a couch philosopher. Yeah. And uh, maybe he will find some way to combine between the two. Yeah. But maybe, just maybe, yeah. you know, some characters will find their middle way. And will have everything? 
and will have both ends, you know? Really? Can you see, like at, the, like, at the end of the story, you see Sam writing history, then kissing Gilly, and then going back? This is... A, it, I don't, I don't think it's that kind of story. Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe he will form a new kind of uh, citadel, <laughs> something which is much more, uh, I mean, it's like okay. a reformation uh, movement, you know, in a way, like something that is much more to the people. Uh, okay, but you don't see him having to give up anything in order to get what he wants? Well, who, who, who in the story ever got what they wanted or will get what they want? Nobody. Maybe some characters will get what they want. Okay, I think like, this is like the theme of the story. Maybe it will also be like, uh, you know, he still hasn't found out that his father and his brother are dead. Like that will mm, be something that right. uh, he lost. He didn't give it up, but he lost it. And who killed him? Who killed him? Daenerys. Right. And she's going to be right there. Yeah. Episode one, she's going to come in. Hi. Winterfell is yours, your grace. Yeah. You killed your father and yeah. brother. I'm your best friends and <laughs> your girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, that's very funny. Yeah, we have to uh, get along. Hi! <laughs> okay, so let me go to the last shot. So I think we'll see Sam writing in a book. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start to see maybe Sansa as queen looking up, looking down from up. This is, mm -hmm. this is usually when you look down is that you are up. Right. Are, are you following this? Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. I'm okay. not sure, but I'll ask Boom. you afterwards. Boom, call yeah. it confirmed. And then he will start to narrate the epilogue, how the story unfolds, like in the large scheme of things. He mm -hmm. will start to tell us what Sansa is doing. And then try to visualize it. I think that then it will go to a very, very wide shot, like a drone, whatever. And then maybe it could turn into the opening theme, the way that it goes from place to place, something of that sort being the last montage of the show, mm -hmm. going from King's Landing, showing us what this guy is doing, showing us what's happening over there. Mm -hmm. And then slowly but slowly, like, like the opening of the show, I think. I don't know if, if, if Dan and Dave will do it, but I think they should do it. Do it. No, I don't, I don't think it's cool. It's just like to tie everything in, to end with a, with a soundtrack, with a theme, and then seeing how everything, like whatever, the, the, the bittersweet ending that he has prophesized. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we're going to see uh, a world rebuilding itself after a major destruction. And, uh, and we'll be interested in seeing, you know, what kind of new life emerges yeah. from that world because, uh, right. yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, and he's going to be part of the new world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has that new world mentality. You know, maybe the citadel will be destroyed, I don't know. Maybe. So maybe if the library burns, that would be the catalyst to force the knowledge that is now in the citadel is not put, being put to any use. Mm -hmm. They've made sure to, to show us that uh, in season seven. They will call the order of the maesters to, to spread the knowledge everywhere, which is actually, it actually mirrors what happened in real history. Once the knowledge was no longer with one source, then slowly you had universities mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff like that. So maybe that will also be a part of the new world. I think it's really like the Catholic Church in a way, because, uh, you know, also the, the, like the maesters are kind of uh, monks. Right. You know, they... Uh, and uh, this kind of like uh, knowledge is, you know, yeah, just copy it. Yeah, and yeah. it's our, you know, no yeah. knowledge is power, and yeah. we we hold the power. But it's not necessarily to create something new or to do something about it, right? Right, right. It's uh, yeah, it's like a criticism on the on the academia in general. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this kind of like ivory tower, you know, uh, attitude. I got out of there in time. They begged me to stay. Begged mm -hmm. me to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A good so, thing you got out of there. Yeah, so, yeah. Wow. Oof. <laughs> wow. Oof, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That was very close. Yeah. I, uh, I see. So anyway. It will be very, you know, poetic in a way. Like uh, they were the ones who uh, 
deny the existence of the white walkers and uh, they right. might uh, you know encounter you know encounter yeah. them in a very unpleasant way and yeah, maybe the library the library of Alexandria something like that mm -hmm. but what do you think about his arc from where he started if he did writes the story at the end mm -hmm. and has go with me here has to let go of Gilly and Sam jr mm -hmm. how do you see that working from a psychoanalytical point of view When it comes to Sam, then it will be a bit sad because he, you know, the, like, the kind of like cerebral part was always a part of him. Like that was the part he was good at. But right. he wasn't very good at forming relationships and right. feeling appreciated by uh, other people. In a way, that would be like a regression on his part. Mm. Like that would be, you know, not really moving forward, but mm. really, you know, just uh, going back to right. Maybe being Sam. like his dad, mm -hmm. but not with a sword, with a pen. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, for me, it would be sad to see Sam yeah. just uh, turn into the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know, you know. It has to be sad. The fact that it's mm -hmm. going to be sad, that's not an argument against... I think it's, a, it's an argument that works for this prediction. Probably. I mean, uh, if that's all, you know, if sadness is like the only thing that he, he wants us to feel at the end... <laughs> then yeah, that fits into that pattern, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what do you think? Please mention in the comments or tweet at us. And if this is the first time that you're watching any of our videos, hit subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, hit the bell to get a notification whenever we post a new video, a prediction video, or very soon episode reviews. We're going to do so many videos during the season. I'm hoping for six videos per week. Not all of them about the season, but this is my aim. Six videos per week. Wow. So maybe you'd like to check our Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Got Academy. There's a lot of perks, a lot of bonuses and exclusive videos. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you patrons for supporting the channel and we'll see you all on our next prediction video coming real soon. Bye Noga. Bye Gil. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. <laughs>